Hey, good morning, happy people. Today is a great day to be alive. We're here out on the ranch and um, it's just gonna be an exciting day. A lot of you guys enjoy seeing what we do and how we make this place our home. I spend a lot of time out on the ocean and at my house with my family, but this ranch is like my sanctuary. We met these fellows here from Brush Hog Grinding Services. They live out in Lake Placid, Venus, Florida area, and they make their living grinding brush. We're sitting in camp right now, and from here all the way back to the Northwest are like the thickest palmettos I've ever seen. It's impenetrable, and there's a lot of spots back there that have big oak trees, but the palmettos are so thick around them that you can't use it. Well, why have property that you can't use? Reached out to these guys, they're here, I'm gonna show you today how you can take this equipment and turn this unusable property into beautiful property. Property that the hogs and the deer and the turkeys and all of us can really, really enjoy. Let's get after it. Wow, that thing's quiet. So the boys just fired up their machines. I'm gonna jump on the buggy. We're gonna go back and sorta of show you what our master plan is today. Anytime you do stuff like this, I mean, in my past experience, you're gonna have issues. We're gonna run into snags and hang-ups. We're gonna run into issues today. Chat, look at what they did yesterday. As soon as we're leaving camp, this gets really, really thick. So I wanted to, I want to improve this road and widen it. All right, you guys, so this is old Trevor from Brush Hall Grinding Services. Where are you from? Lake Placid, Florida. How did you get started with this? Uh, me and a buddy of mine started it probably 15 years ago together and then it kind of fell off a little bit and then I took it over and it just kind of grew from that, well, that your, period on. Yeah, your name precedes you. So right. we come in instead of conventionally taking a loader or dozer and piling all this in one big pile over here, when we're done, everything is ground, looks like similar to a bag of mulch poured on the ground. Right. This is my fourth year with the ranch. I have wanted to improve this for as long as I've had the ranch, but we've never had the time or capability. When we did the project last year and cleaned up camp, that's all I could afford. Well, here we are a year later and we're after it again. I can't wait to see what this turns into. So the boys just got here. They cleaned up the road coming all the way back. Now they're gonna dig in and really start opening up these oak trees. source of food for our wild game in this area. They drop acorns. Well, heck, imagine if they're dropping acorns in here when it's this thick. Nothing could get to it. So now they're coming in here. They've got it all. I mean, they're grinding this so fast, it's not even funny. Then he's going to come in here with the skid steer and clean up around all these trees. It's such a massive improvement to our property. We're heading back to camp to do some work there, and this is my first look at the road. Now, when we drove in here, we just had a barely a little path. Now it's like a super highway. Wow. All right, you guys, this is the generator that runs this camp. We just ran into town, we picked up some subs for the guys, and we picked up a part. This is actually a little nipple, screws in, and allows us to drain the oil. It's been way too long, but uh, we're gonna do a full fluid change on this. Then we're gonna go pick up a tree stand, a feeder. We are doing an entire job here on the ranch today and uh, taking care of the generator is a very important part. Oh 
doesn't even look like the same wood. Yeah. Tiny! Dude. Y'all have done some major work. As if I'm not already amazed. Now, we're gonna come back and check out a spot we call Twisty Tree. Look at this, y'all. Wow, let's hop down. This spot originally was just where this grass is right here. Now, this is my favorite spot on the entire ranch right here. This right here has monster buff written all over it. And this ties that oak hammock up. Turkey neck and bag of twisty tree are now going to be wow. -wee. That's what we call property maintenance. Right? Now he's Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Why do you no do that for? The scissors. Okay, ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Ah, oh. now she beats me. She had the rock. Yeah. Okay, come on. Do it, do it slow Rock, version. paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, she cuts me. You have to pick one. When you do the ro shoot, you have to pick rock, paper, or scissors. This is a rock, this is paper, and this is scissors. Rock, so who, how, how you know who wins? I'm not, don't hit people with a snake. How you know who wins? Okay. Like if you do this. All right, ready? Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot! I hate when someone oversells. I love when they over deliver, and you did that. No Tiny, I'd like to tell you right now on video. See this? Hey, Hope, what's your boy's name? Knox. Knox. Knox, your wife's Danielle? Y'all yep. are hereby ordered to come spend a weekend at the ranch with us. We'll go fishing, hunting, cooking, whatever we want. Because you know what? You got a lot to be proud of with this man right here. He's a hardworking American warrior. And I appreciate you so much, dude. Thank you very much. You and Justin have impressed me so much today just with your steadfast work, work, work. And you've done more than what I asked you to do. I thank you so much. I appreciate it. Brush hog grinders, boy. These, uh, these guys don't mess around. And you got machines bigger than this? Oh yeah, you got four bigger than both of these. But I couldn't do it without these guys. These guys are what makes it possible every day. I can't do my YouTube videos without these guys. Yeah. Today, we're gonna start building this feeder. So basically, I marked out center here so that I can keep measuring with this tape. It's about 17 inches something like 17 feet 8 inches and in theory we'll have a complete circle here in a second all right you guys old mama dukes just showed up with the girls she's been working on the rv for the last several days several days like three weeks month one month well a year would be several days uh. but the fact of the matter is She's been working on the RV. We've been working on the ranch. And together, we've been getting quite a bit done. Boys are over there putting up a feeder right now. And if you're wondering why, well, they probably explained why, but we have to put up that bull panel so that the hogs don't just camp out underneath the feeder and eat everything. Once I get this tree stand up, I'm gonna to explain to you why we picked this tree and why we picked this area to come in and do this job. But for now, I gotta finish this tree stand. When they started, this was all head high palmettos. I mean, so thick it looked like a jungle. They came in here, ground it all up. Now we have one last little patch that we're gonna burn. Then as this dries off, we'll burn all this and lickety split we will have doubled the size of our camp now prescribed burn 
burning is a huge part of the Florida ecosystem. This is an upland pine flat and we're gonna burn it, thin it out and uh, see what happens. The wind is blowing out of the Northeast. So we're gonna back burn just like this. Now I've got all kinds of tools, but this right here is one of the best. If I wouldn't have back burned this, we'd have a big problem on our hands. Or if I wouldn't have cut a fire frame. If I would have set that fire on that side, it would have come through here using the wind as fuel and it would have jumped right across and would have just kept on going. A lot of thought goes into this. exactly what we were talking about we went in we back burned it we cut a fire break on the back and we started burning into the wind once we got a good ways in we came over here we lit this whole line and we got a big huge head fire burned right through and look how much it cleaned it up now I might be calling the boys from brush hog and have them come back because maybe one more day with the skid steer and I think they could clean all this up. But uh, let's go back and check out what we did a couple days ago. I just wanna see how it looks. I'm gonna explain everything to you and then we'll go from there. I hope y'all understand how important this is to me. It's actually unique, see this? That's all deer poop. That means deer are in here using this. We just did this. The boys came in, they grinded it. They took property that was absolutely useless and made it a beautiful sanctuary. I was able to put a tree stand up. Austin and Jordan were able to come in here and put around this ring. This ring is gonna keep hogs from just owning this feeder. It's a castaway feeder, so it's gonna sling corn all over the place. I mean, it's year round. Deer, hogs, and turkey are gonna use this. Not to mention you're gonna have dove and quail and all kinds of game birds that are gonna be out here just using this as a feeding area. Now, once these oak trees start bearing fruit and dropping acorns, the game will eat that. But this feeder is gonna make this a really good area that wild game call home. And I hope you understand that as a hunter and as a fisherman, as an outdoorsman, conservation and wildlife and gamekeeping, taking care of my property, that's number one to me because our family enjoys getting together as a family, coming out here, riding around on a buggy and looking at wild game. We do hunt, but I guarantee you we take care of our game far more than we hunt. And I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed watching it come to life, tearing it all down, cleaning it up, burning it, putting up the feeder and hanging tree stands. That's all I got for you today. This is our life. Thanks for being a part. Take care, God bless, and we gone.